is not an experimental vaccine. I hear this term, and it, 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 doesn't, it just doesn't make sense. Every year, the flu vaccine changes, every year. So if this is an experimental vaccine, every year's flu vaccine is an experimental vaccine. It's not experimental. It's just it, the formulation of the vaccine every year changes to reflect what is anticipated to occur in the community. So it's not an experimental vaccine. It's made exactly the same way as any other flu vaccine. It's just a matter of uh, it's in it's separate vials because they couldn't coordinate the production of the of the three with the one. So next year it will just be one. So they're just like the flu shots we get every year. They're tailored to the particular flu strains that are expected. They are no more experimental than last year's flu shot. Last year's flu shot wasn't the same as the previous year. Was that experimental? No. So, you know, it's not that somebody's trying to do an experiment to see what happens. We know what happens. You get this vaccine, you get good antibody response. You can measure. We know that that happens. In fact, it turns out that we thought we were going to need two shots because most young people have never seen this kind of flu before. But again, data from Australia suggests that one shot will be sufficient for adults. For little kids, they, they still may need two shots, just like when a child gets the first immunization, when, you're, when, you're, when your baby gets to be six months old and is, and, and is uh, eligible for flu shots, the first year the child gets two flu shots, and then after that gets one per year. And so since this is a new vaccine, the first year the little kids will get two shots, and then they'll get one every year thereafter. It's just like the regular vaccine. 